Dominic Toretto likes to live his life a quarter mile at a time. Well, this movie likes to come out about a year and a half at a time, so... Oof. What's going on, guys? We're the Cine Fanatics. My name is Chris Adams. And I'm Robert Adams. And we are watching the second official trailer for Fast 9, Fast and Furious 9, Furious 9, the ninth film in the Fast and Furious shenanigan super adventures. <laughs> super adventures, that, that, that works. Uh, it yeah, feels like a Saturday it, morning cartoon, right? Yeah. <laughs> It, it's been over a year since the first trailer, and I feel like this is unprecedented. And I know, I get it. It's the pandemic, that sure. But I mean, just the way the things have been happening with this, uh, this was, is, I think, well, I can't remember if it was this or James Bond was like the first movie to officially get pushed back. Um, I know, yeah. Uh, I, I know that this movie originally debuted its first trailer with a massive concert and then debuted the trailer online on youtube and then it was like within a week or so afterwards that they're like nope gonna move the movie to next year and then it got shuffled around a couple more times anyways we're now looking at what what did you say june 25th i believe is now 25th yep yeah so uh we finally got the second trailer i understand the marketing of the fast and furious movies they didn't want to release another trailer like within like the whole year because you probably forget about it uh, even though there's like nine of these movies now. So <laughs> who will forever forget these? This is starting to get about as big as the Marvel Universe. So anyways, we got a second trailer. Eager to see it. Let's jump into it. The world has a way of changing. Ah, rebuilding the house. <laughs> and we change too. I know some people, they would die for me. No. Are All three of them are there. Us. Nice. Come back together. We heard y'all needed a little love out here. <laughs> y'all ever thought about the wild missions we've been on? We've taken out planes. Well, you're trains, about to go on another tanks. one. I'm not going to think about the submarine. Wild is kind of an understatement, but okay. And now we got cars flying in the air. Who is he? Jacob is. Fast and Furious crew would be good at cinema sense. Dom's brother. <laughs> It's a long time, Dom. Little brother. You always say never turn your back on family, but you turned your back on me. Now your little family is in my world. It's your family too, bro. They're they're just now in his world, like. Are you ready? Whatever's that, on you. you ready? Probably would have been a death fall, but okay. Are you ready? He's got his own private army. We need help. No way. Nice. So how do y'all want to play this? Ah, and everyone's making that joke. Yeah. Okay, this is a bad time to mention this, but I don't drive. <laughs> <laughs> Have we not seen her drive yet? I guess not. Brother against brother. This should be interesting. But could you know him? No. Could you bite for me, would you, darling? Crank it all the way up. Did he just turn on we the flux so capacitor? <laughs> what? Man, we messing with magnets now? You woke your wake up. Whoa. Get back in front. Oh. It's good to be back. I think he just killed that guy. Good lord. We supposed to stop that? Oh yeah, hey look, it's a Dark Knight reference. Yeah. I was actually kind of thinking more like Deadpool. That sounds Deadpool too. Yeah. You spend the rest of yours. Yeah! Living in mine. We go on grab. We on we on we on we on the loose. Not today. 
No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> really? Duct tape? Wait. You acting like we on our way to Home Depot. Duct tape! No I don't want to die! They in scuba suits. Okay. They might actually be more of uh, of astronaut suits, honestly. But <laughs> they look like scuba suits. But that answers how they how they're going to get in the outer space. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's ridiculous okay. looking. I want to be clear about something. Every time I said no during that trailer, uh, I was remarking on they should be dead in each one of those scenes. Somebody in that scene should be dead from what happened in that scene. Good God, that. These movies are getting more and more insane the more they go on. Just like, but here's the thing: while that might sound like a complaint, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> like, I love how ridiculous these movies are now. Like, it, how did it go? Like, it, it go all the way back to the original, The Fast and the Furious. It was a crime high street racing movie. Yeah, and now look at where we're at. Pretty much nothing to do with any of that. <laughs> they, uh, Brian was on the police force and they were trying to hunt down people who were stealing like VCRs. Yeah, they were. Yeah, well, VCR. Yeah, DVD players at that time. But oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But yeah, they were trying to go after the the original crew that was stealing all the electronics off the the shipping trucks. And now look at where we're at. This is we're like going to space with magnets. This is not where, like, if you go back and you were to tell someone to watch the first movie and then to guess where the franchise would go, this is not what they would assume. This is not what they would think. This is like, like, you tell someone at the very beginning of that, like, hey, this is this is what's going to happen. They're going to be like, no, that's stupid. But yet here we are, like, essentially, this is the 10th movie in the entire franchise. Yeah. And... They're all just as as insane, just as crazy, just as dumb, <laughs> but like the in the good way type of thing. Yeah, that's and that's the fun of this franchise. That's what you come to this franchise for. We can sit here all day and be like, well, that fall should have killed them. Oh, that jump through that entire building's wall should have killed them. Oh, Dom getting his head slammed up against the top of doorway. That should have at least given him a concussion. The fall out of a car, rolling on the ground. Yeah, all of these things definitely should be causing some serious vital injuries to these people who I'm now thinking are superhuman. Um, but check check all that at the door. Check your science, check your, your mind, check your physics, check everything that you think should be based in reality at the door because that's not what these movies are for anymore. These <laughs> movies are for fun action, car, fast cars, and crazy set pieces and just just ridiculous over the top stunts that's yeah. what these movies are for this is what you come to see these movies for you're not coming to see you know well written although these characters here's the thing these characters are fun these characters are endearing that's why we loved following them all these years too it's not just the action it is the characters as well uh that's why we are all losing our minds when han is coming back because we love han Han's one of our favorites. So for him to come back, we all go, yay. And now we're like, wondering if uh, Giselle will come back at some point. It's like a comic book. Like if they die, they come back. Just <sighs> anyways, all the goofiness, all the silliness, all the stupidity of it all. I just want it. I want all of it. I, we've been holding up for this for like a year and a half. Yeah, it's time. It looks like we're finally going to get it. Like again, once they start spending the money on the marketing for a movie, that pretty much cements that they're ready for it to come out. They're going to release it. So I feel like June 25th is a nice, safe date. Nice, safe bet that it's going to come out then. So especially, I'm looking forward to it. With the way everything's heading right now and, and yeah. everything, we should yeah. be good to go back for theaters in, in the summer. So, yeah, looking forward yeah. to it. Looks great. Can't wait to see it. So uh, if y'all's theaters open, go check it out. It's going to be a blast. So. It might be some people's first movie back in the theater too, which it feels extremely Indeed. appropriate. So, 
it'd be yeah because our last one was technically the last one was bloodshot so you end yeah. on vin diesel and you're coming back with vin diesel let's make yeah. it happen people the <laughs> book vin diesel book in, ending the pandemic anyways that's gonna do it for this reaction what did y'all think of this trailer what did y'all think of this reaction let us know down below in the comments also up above our heads we do have a patreon hit us up on patreon.com slash cinefanatics we got movie watch alongs we got movie trivia nights we got all kinds of fun things happening over there make sure to hit up that link and jump on the tier that's right for you also make sure you follow us on social media we are at cinefanatics mlp on twitter and instagram i am robert adams mlp on twitter instagram and letterbox he is chris adams mlp on twitter instabox instagram and letter instabox Twitter, Instagram, and Letterbox. <laughs> Instabox. There's a lot of stuff to talk about. Speaking of stuff to talk about, we are on YouTube, which means you do the YouTube things like hit that like button, hit it fast, hit it furious. Just give us a like. Also, make sure you share this with your friends and family. And then also do the number one YouTube thing. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. There's a subscribe button right down below this video. There's also one right up here above our heads. Over here off to the side are a couple other videos that we have made. And as always, time for some Coronas. I could probably find a better beer. Just saying. Yeah. 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 Anyways, later. See ya.